fucking ice cream, man. Like, literally. <laughs> it's, what is it today? It's like the 2nd of February and it's like three degrees outside. My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop. <laughs> fucking pissing and morning about the ice cream, man. Right then, so someone asked me a question on the old Facebooks and it the question was why can't why don't we or why can't we or can you use a um intercooler on an actual aspirated engine you know why don't you do that uh thermodynamically that's why but <laughs> so if you have an intercooler like this and then you have this feed your engine with its valves like this the outside ambient air, let's just say it's a nice day, a lot nicer than today. It's 20 degrees, let's put C, just to keep everyone happy. Um, the air is also trying to cool the air that's flowing into your engine at 20 degrees C. There is no temperature gradient there, nothing is going to cool anything. So you basically just added an intercooler, which weighs kilos, mass, you've added complexity, you've added all this, that and the other. Um, the other thing is as well is that you'd want your your injectors are sat down here on purpose to basically spray the back of your valves so that it takes heat from the valves so it helps it evaporate and so on and you know if you did it the other way by cooling your fuel as well then you're going to have loads of condensation inside your and it's just going to fuck up your mixtures and blah 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 blah, blah. and you're not going to get this valve cooling um valve cooling benefit that's the word <laughs> benefit from spraying the back of your valves and so on and so on it's basically just a thermodynamic thing someone did send me a picture and i tried to find it i didn't save it like a twat and it was a picture of a bike with an intercooler literally slapped on the side where your legs go and i was just like well that's not even in the airflow what is the point in doing that why do we do it for um you know just say if you have a turbo snail on here why would we do it for that? Well, the fact of the matter is, is air at work is being done to the air. And the th again, the laws of thermodynamics means that any system that has work done on it, there's, heat, there's basically waste heat, there's losses. Your air is just happily just being air and it's just fucking doing what have you. And then basically a big impeller blade just goes fucking bang like that and just basically slaps it. So you imagine there's a molecule just fucking around here and then this big fan blade like that just comes around, whacks it and accelerates it um, into your, you know, into your manifold, into your system. And it's all about kinetic energy. You've basically just transferred a lot of the men momentum from the blades. So as the blades hit the air, they're actually, the blade is actually losing momentum. It's actually losing energy. And this is why they require a power source to drive them, be mechanically driven off the engine or basically by a turbine, you know, with the, the turbine section. This just requires energy to do so. The air was just pissing around doing whatever. This blade just goes, bang, have that. And momentum is transferred from the blade to the air. When this happens, this air molecule that's now just been launched down there like a swing ball, um, this now has kinetic energy and basically the air molecules can um, express energy through heat so in a sense work is being done energy has been transferred so the air starts to heat up it's not only that it's also the compression as well you're trying to squeeze this air in it's all about energy density stuff like that so basically the whole thing just starts to heat up and then you use an, e an intercooler but just say if your turbo snail is kicking out air at 100 degrees c like this your cooling air is 200, uh, 20 degrees, not 200, 20 degrees, which means that there's a temperature gradient here, which means that there you can basically piss off that heat to the incoming air that's basically cooling your intercooler. Intercooler as in it's in between, it's intermittent, it's in between. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? inter meaning between two things so it's an intercooler it's between what's ever adding heat to the system and where you want it to be so it's between them two if you fitted an intercooler to an na engine it's going to do nothing you'll actually lose a tiny bit of power probably for the simple fact is that this is a restriction 
you might have a throttle body enabler, let's just say it's fully open, you wide open throttle, the valve and all the rest of it's a restriction as it is, but then you've got this mesh in here where basically it's got to try and worm its way past these veins. Again, that's another restriction. You'll get a bit of lag out of it and blah, 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 blah. It just basically slows down the airflow through this system where it naturally was actually quite fine. There's already an air filter and stuff to fucking deal with. This is obviously not including this. This is with an NA system. So, yes, fitting an intercooler to an NA engine thermodynamically makes no sense. And there are other things that like restrictions and stuff that means that you would be completely wasting your time. If you see an intercooler on an NA engine, unless it has some kind of hot intake because it's drawing in intake air from behind the exhaust pipes or something stupid, it's just completely pointless. You have to have a temperature difference between what's doing the cooling and what isn't. Now, someone is going to ask, and I know they are, what happens if you used a cooling system that cooled down the air that was flowing through here? Let's just say you had a water to air system, but somehow you were cooling it down. That would make a difference to densities, but then you're talking about a system that's basically a refrigeration system, which requires power anyway, and you might as well just keep that power in the engine. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.